Yep, it's that time again. And it's such a beautiful day. Well, it was such a beautiful day. Sun is out kicking in full force, man. I decided, you know what? Time to roll up them sleeves and have the guns out. <laughs> yeah, so as usual, started off with um, some pull-ups. It's the one of the best things you can do for your biceps. Uh, as you can see, I'm squeezing and uh, pausing at the top for a little bit. And when I come down, even though I, I stretch, I don't go fully stretched out. That way I keep the tension. After that, um, I then moved on to doing some, some barbell curls. Man, I wish I had the easy bar. <laughs> yeah, easy bar doesn't mean that it would have been easier. But um, yeah, here you see me warming up a bit. You know, making sure um, I just get a feel for the movement and actually using the bar as well. So did a few, a few reps, a few sets as well of a uh, bit of lighter weight and then gradually you know moved up because them, ba them bad boys ain't gonna grow on their own so i just had to had to kick up the numbers a little bit you know get a true feel for some proper weight not them little tiny weights you see them boys just be doing and then walking around thinking them bad so there we go add the uh, 20 kg on each side trying to bang out a few few reps and now I'm seeing the video I can see dudes in the back was waiting they probably wanted to use a space but when you see these guns there trying to curl the weights you, you kind of have to kind of have to wait <laughs> I don't even know why they left but um, yeah I'll just I'll just assume that it's because they saw the guns yeah anyway did another another set of those and um, yeah, I went into a failure. And straight from there, you know, decreased the weight again, went down, uh, just banging up the reps until like my arms gave out. So all in all, it was a really good workout. Then went on to doing some um, single arm curls. The best thing with these is if, if you're doing something like this on a machine like this, if you can put the seat as low down as possible, that way you can get like a full proper stretch of the bicep here because that's what you want right and um, I had the 20 kg plate on here just doing some single arms uh, you know making sure each one of the each one of the biceps gets a proper proper workout uh, I think after this I then you know step the weight up a bit but at that point man the burn was way, way too much. I just had to, I tried. I tried, man, I tried, I tried. But yeah, did what I can and squeezed a few reps out. But um, like I say, it was a killer. So I didn't mind just at least helping for the first few reps, like at least bring the weight up but when I'm coming back down that's when you know you control the weight go down a bit slower right so you make sure you get more out of the workout then um, I did some double arm curls uh, increased the weight a bit I just did um, 40 kg so nothing ridiculous but, um, just enough to to keep the the blood pumping you know what I mean get the muscles all swole your boy was looking like he got stung by bees, man. I was all swole. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then I decided to move on to hammer curls. Because when you do the regular curls, right, it hits like the the front. I don't know if it's called the front. Yeah, front head of the, the bicep. But when you do the hammer curls, I don't know if you can see from the side. You can see the muscles of the bicep on the side. When you do the hammer curls, you hit those ones even more. Alright, so you should you should try to hit the bicep from different angles. Hammer curls are very important as well. That's where your your arm gets this kind of 3D effect. It looks more rounded, you know. And also when I'm doing the, the weight, um, if you look you'll see my hand is in the front 
Keep the hand in front, you know, just to ensure you keep maximum tension. And as usual, subscribe and uh, check back soon, mate. Later.